Taurus, uh, Didi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Welcome to your reading for the month of March. Uh, bear in mind that this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Also, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? So, uh, with this new spread, we've got the overall energies here. We've got a little more detailed information here, and then I will shuffle a third deck and get either further information or words of advice from Spirit. So, let's get this party started. Okay, okay. So, we've got New Moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation, Taurus. So, now if you see me turning cards over, it is because I do not read reversals. So you may see that from time to time. Um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment card. We've got Two of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, Temperance, the Five of Wands, the Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Wands, and Ace of Swords. Bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation. So, with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles generally is the slowest moving knight in the deck. He is methodical. He is meticulous. He is thorough. He's slow AF. But once he gets started on a task, he does not cease until that task is complete. Um, followed by the judgment card, which means that this Knight of Pentacles has been coming for quite some time. And it looks like we've got a decision being handed down from spirit. So with the Two of Pentacles, this is about either change or juggling, right? So looking at and coming back to this overall, this is about changing how you operate, changing the basis on which you are making your decisions, right? Are you coming from are you making your decisions from a place of lack? Are you making your decisions from a place of fear? Are you making your decisions from a place of abundance, a place of wholeness? This is causing you to really look at how you approach your daily life and how that in turn manifests and turns into what you actually see here in the physical. Now with the Queen of Pentacles, this is about being fluid, being tapped in, being plugged in, right? Resources is just another form of energy. It comes, it goes, it's never stagnant, never stagnant. And the Queen of Pentacles understands this so much so that she allows the natural ebbs and flows of the resources to be able to turn a profit. And not just a small profit, mind you. I don't know of any broke queens, do you? Yeah. She is keenly aware of the abundance mindset and she also knows how to put it into action, right? Then following up with the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, this is young intellectual energy, right? This is learning how to fine tune and sharpen one's thoughts. Uh, we are no longer operating as a kid. We no longer think as a kid. By the time we have reached Knight status, there is a very real sense of possible of very real sense of responsibility, also a very real sense of purpose, and also a formed sense of I'm hearing the word honor, 
honor ingrained into knights. And so even though this is young energy, this is young energy with much, much promise. And this is as it pertains to as it pertains to the mind, right? Now we've got the Six of Pentacles here. Now with the Six of Pentacles, this talks about coming from a place of not having enough to having enough and having a little bit to set aside, having a little bit to give to charity, having a little bit to be able to to spend on a couple of frivolous things. Like the Six of Discs denotes a positive upswing as it relates to resources. Sometimes it's money, other, other times it's your home. It's all, it's anything that could actually be anything tangible that could be beneficial to you, right? So this is using this fluidity, taking this fluidity and understanding the ebbs and flows, appreciating it from a heightened intellectual standpoint in order to move from a place where there was no love into a place where there is not only love for yourself, but to be able to give to someone else, right? And then we have the temperance card. And the temperance is about balance. It's about alchemy. It's about taking all of the ingredients that are available to you and manipulating them in such a manner that it turns it into something else, something that is useful. Taking eggs and flour and milk and sugar and using the right proportions and the right amount of heat and making a cake, right? That's this energy here. So we've got the Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. So the Five of Wands is about defending on all sides and the Two of Swords is about being of two minds about something, having a decision to make Well, weighing your pros and cons or it could be the refusal to make a decision. So seeing those on either side of this Five of Wands makes a lot of sense to me because it is about the balance, it's about duality, and how to manage that, right? Then following behind that with the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands, so we're talking about bringing a sense of community into something, right? Bring love into the situation. Here's your community card. And then follow that up with the Four of Wands, which is your foundation card so you are really building something new you're getting away from having to or feeling like you have to do everything by yourself and understanding the great tapestry that is humanity and also your role in it and keenly understanding that with the ace of swords like getting some clarity as it pertains to your role in this and how you can expand that role, thank you spirit, how you can expand that role with precision to bring the community into what it is that you're doing all while maintaining your sense of individuality, right? So you're not just bringing other people in, but bringing the right people in so that you can build this new foundation that is coming up as a result of this judgment here. So let's talk about this clarity. Spirit, can you clarify the clarity? What does Taurus need to know? What is it that Taurus needs clarification with in regards to bringing love into the situation? Clarity.
clarity for Taurus with bringing love into the situation. Clarity with Taurus and bringing love into the situation. Please and thank you. Please and thank you once more because that was kind of chunky. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, Six of Wands. Okay. It's time to release what no longer works for you. Five of Pentacles is that same lack mentality that I was referring to earlier. It's time to release that time to release the woe is me frame of mind and move to a different train of thought that is going to give you inner peace because you have passion working in your favor and victory victory with the six of wands is guaranteed once you turn this loose and allow the passion love passion love into your life you will be successful Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye, Taurus.